What's up, YouTube? I'm William, and welcome back to another episode of the Road Trip Ranch Show. This is the Road Trip Ranch Show. This is the Road Trip Ranch Show. 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 This is the Road Trip Ranch Show. So, if you're new to my channel, head over to last week's episode, check it out to see what you missed, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when I post another video. Don't forget to thumbs this video up, give it a like, comment below, let me know what you like about the video, let me know what you didn't like about the video, let me know what you want to see and what you want me to do. Now, on this week's episode of the Road Trip Ranch Show is another car bomb. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I um I made some uh, homemade dumplings, pot stickers, if you will. Yeah, they look really good. And I got my little sauce. Um, what is it? Soy sauce and sweet baby Ray secret sauce. All right, so let's let's dive right in. So what's up with everybody? How's everybody's weekend going? Make sure you comment in the comment section below. Today is Monday. Well, today is actually Sunday, but when you see this video, it'll be Monday. I um one of my one of my coworkers and one of my viewers Shout out to Tanya. She um she requested that I do a cooking video. You know. She requested that I go to my favorite vegan restaurant and see how they cook the food. Oh, I should have put a shirt on. But that's gonna be kinda hard to do. So my thing was to take a road trip to an international market and buy the stuff and proceed to make a vegan recipe that I, because I follow a lot of vegans, they do mukbangs, I follow the ghetto vegans, <clears throat> and I got a recipe from them, to make some uh, Korean fried chicken. So that's what I did, but I don't know if it turned out right, so I'm going to practice it first. And then I got to do like the whole road trip thing. You know. I started it but it didn't I didn't finish it. One I didn't record in the store. Me purchasing the, the items. I didn't take a trip. I didn't record going to the to the store. And then once I was prepping it, I forgot to press record, so <laughs> I'll just have to do it all over again. It's okay. But I'm still gonna make them today for practice. Because a lot of ingredients I didn't have. I didn't have, they wanted you to have milk. I don't drink milk for lots of reasons. They wanted you to have wine. I don't drink wine. It's like I'm lying. <laughs> This looks like meat. I'm going to be sick as a dog if this is meat. But I'm still chewing. It don't taste like meat. On the back it said vegetables. <laughs> and there's some Chinese lettuce. <laughs> oh man. I guess I should have sounded out the letters in Chinese. Anyway. They look like meat. So I wanna thank everybody for watching. It's mainly like family and co-workers now. <laughs> I think I got like two 
two subscribers, three that I don't know. Appreciate y'all. Um, I'm gonna do a story time, I guess. And I know exactly what I can do. <clears throat> so I told y'all that I used to work for, uh, I don't know if I should say their name, because of the story is gonna make them, make them look bad. I used to work for a company that delivers people. <laughs> yeah, you order a ride and you deliver people. So, you figure it out. It's like a taxi cab service. Alright, so this was 2015, 16. I left my job at the airport because they gave me a 10 cent raise. And, uh, they didn't know who they was messing with. So I quit my job there and did the driving app. Uh, I did that for a long, periodically time. But then my last ride, my, it started to get worse. So that's how I knew that it was time for me to be over. My last Uber ride. You know, I can give you another one before my last Uber ride. I can give you, I can give you two of my last ones. I can give you two of my last Uber rides. So be, before my last Uber ride, I was in College Park. And of course it's College Park because there's a college there. <laughs> um, I picked up one of these college students and she ordered it for her friend. It wasn't for the girl who it was. And uh, it was at a bar. It wasn't that far from the college. It was at least like <clears throat> a five minute ride. So she gets in the car, she's crying hysterically like something just happened bad. So of course me being the kind, caring person that I'm is, I'm like, what's wrong, what's wrong? She says her dad dies. I go, damn, you know? That's bad news. I was like, well, you know, just, just try to think about the good times you had with them. You know, trying to stop her from crying because I'm driving, I don't want to hear that. That's wrong. I didn't. So, she's, she's, she's talking. She's like, no, you don't understand. You don't understand. I was like, okay, well, it's like nothing you can do now. She's just hysterically crying. I think she was drunk too. She, well, she was drunk. You don't understand, you don't understand. So after, you know, me trying to calm her down for like two or three minutes, I go, well, how, how long had your dad been dead? This bitch had seven years. I wanted to stop the car. I tell her to get out, but I said, ma'am, you're gonna have to get over this. <laughs> so <clears throat> she we get to the college. Before we get to her room, she goes, I gotta pee. So she jumps out the car, runs over to a field lays down in the grass and pulls her pants down and pees in the grass. I said, okay. That's what we're doing. So I got her things out the back seat and I walked over to the grass. I said, are you okay? She said, get away from me, black man. And that's exactly what I did because I sold the Green Mile, okay? You're not gonna get me. All right, I apologize. My camera overheated again. I had to move into some shade. All right, so back to where I was. Where was I? I was, she went to go lay in the grass to go pee. I went to go bring her her things. She was laying down the, in the grass. She told me to get away, black man, and I left her. And on my way, leaving her, she was like, hey, I can't find my phone. 
so I went back to the car, I got the phone. I go back to her at the same spot she was in the grass and she wasn't there. So I walked around this like wall, <clears throat> this brick wall, and she was sitting on the step with a whole bunch of dudes. So I said, here you go with your phone. And I just walked off. And the next day, her friend called and said, have you seen blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I dropped her off in the field. <laughs> that was that. But yeah. I'll save my next story for 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 next next car bang. <clears throat> but if you guys are doing those those uh driving apps You need a stun gun, a knife, a mace, probably a gun. Because people are crazy. People are real crazy. But yeah. How many how many of y'all done Uber? And if y'all got any crazy stories, you should tell me about them. I want to know. I don't think I'll ever work for them again. <laughs> we can never say never, I don't know. I have no idea, you can't predict the future. There they go. Alright you guys. That was my last one. I'm still trying to get people to do more interviews, but it's hard to do. I think I, I think I can get um, Kiso Safis, the boy with the boots, super bitch. Trying to get Lee Jack, trying to get Chris Scholar, trying to get Mickey, Ico, all the all the band, the group members from 4 Y. It's hard. But anyway, folks. That is my time. I'm done my mail. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, like. And I'll see y'all the next time.